Alex, so I was thinking, what if someone were to drop you off in the middle of nowhere and said you have to be self-sustaining, but you do get to pick five crops, whatever you want to grow here, what would your five choices be? I thought of this in a very thoughtful process and here's what I would like to bring. First on my list is the aloe vera. Now keep in mind there is no particular order to my list, okay? Aloe vera is great for your joints and your skin. It's because it's hydrating and moisturizing. It's also a great post sunburn treatment. Since I'm planning on probably hiking, exploring the area, this is gonna come in very handy. It's also edible. Next is the genera Procupens. This is one of my favorite leafy greens to eat growing up because it has such a mild taste. It goes with anything. It also is just loaded with nutrients. It's said that this veggie can help regulate your blood sugar, your high cholesterol, your high blood pressure. And who knows, maybe I'll run into someone who needs this plant and I would love to share this with them. So tell me why wouldn't I take this with me? Even Gadget or Chinchilla loves this. Another thing is I also find that this veggie is really good for my digestion. Whenever I feel stuffed or just, you know, had a greasy meal, I just munch on a few of these and I pretty much feel better immediately. Next is the Ashitaba. This plant is special because it contains vitamin B12, which is generally not found in plant-based food um, is usually in meat. And since I'm not planning on hunting for my protein, I'm really going to be counting on this plant here. Also that yellow sap is really potent and so I'm assuming I can probably just apply that on wounds to help it heal. The leaves taste a little bitter but they do remind me of parsley so I'll use this as an herb for my dishes. The next I've chosen is the bitter gourd, or some call it bitter melon. It's very popular in Chinese and Filipino cuisine. They are so tasty, the gourd. You can make it, like there's no wrong ways to making this, guys. You can put stuffing inside, you can boil it, stir fry it, even slice it thinly and make a salad with it. The leaves are also edible, but I'm sure the leaves are more bitter, but they're all good for you. And when they ripe, they turn, uh, the gourd turns yellow in the inside. The seeds taste just like candy. Wow. Look. Candy. <laughs> Finally, my last choice is the chayote. Now, there's no deep reasons why I chose it. This is just because it's a really sweet squash. It's one of my favorite squashes. So, um, yeah, it's really good stir fried. You can even slice it thinly and just pickle them raw. It's supposed to be really tasty that way, too. The vine, the tender parts, is also really tasty. You can also eat that. Mm. Everything's edible. So lovely. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and um, comment below. I love hearing what your five choices would be. And subscribe for more. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.